Now to the Republican rivals slugging it out on the debate stage up in Iowa. Ron DeSantis and Nikki Haley ripped into each other in their first one-on-one -on -one showdown, while former President Donald Trump escaped most of the incoming fire in the GOP fired Field, excuse me, just got a little smaller. Here's ABC's Derek Dennis. Right from the start of last night's feisty debate in Des Moines, Iowa, the gloves between Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley were off. We don't need another mealy mouth politician who just tells you what she thinks you want to hear. Every time he lies, Drake University, don't turn this into a drinking game because you will be overserved by the end of the night. <laughs> Both candidates trying to prove they're the best alternative to former President Trump, the front runner in the GOP primary. Immigration, a top issue. We will build a wall. Haley going after DeSantis for campaign finance issues. If you can't manage a campaign, how are you going to manage a country? The candidates also tangling over America's support for Ukraine. We need to find a way to end this. If we support Ukraine and Israel, that's only 5% of our defense budget. So if you're going to borrow support, that? This is about keeping Americans safe. This is about preventing war. This is about keeping our military men and women from having to fight a war. And you only do that when you focus on national security, not telling lies to the American people. Haley and DeSantis did agree on one thing, both saying Trump should have been on stage with them. Trump counter-programming the debate with a town hall on Fox News bragging about overturning Roe v. Wade. For 54 years, they were trying to get Roe v. Wade terminated, and I did it, and I'm proud to have done it. Another Republican in the race, former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, dropped out earlier yesterday and was caught on a hot mic criticizing Haley's chances. She's going to get smoked, and you and I both know it. She's not up to this. Christie didn't endorse Haley or DeSantis as he left the race. Polls show his supporters would likely get behind Haley, giving her a boost ahead of the Iowa caucus next Monday.